Welcome back to Crazy Ball TV. Thank you so much for joining us again. Hey, please share, subscribe, like, do all that fun stuff, help our channel grow. Thank you for all the new viewers, subscribers, you know, even the people who likes us, who don't like us. Thursday review, we're going to review some of these EPL matches that is coming up. You guys know what happened on Tuesday. You guys know what happened on Wednesday. Uh, so we keep on moving. Next match up is Spurs. They, they are fighting for top four. We are fighting for the crown. So there's a lot of stake for this match. Uh, so let's uh, talk about LFC business. You know, so far the new LFC news, nothing much in terms of uh, injuries or, you know, there's a few niggas, you know, niggas or how should I say? There's a few knock here and there, but that's football. You know, it happens all the time. At this stage of any league, or any competition, nobody is fully 100%. Uh, we know Bobby is the one that needs to cover, uh, recover. Uh, Farigi was ill when we played uh, Newcastle, I believe. So, or was it Everton? But we know he was ill. Simica just came back. You know, he's been with the team for the past few competitions. He even featured against Villarreal. So, things are good so far. Saturday, we have... Spurs, like I said, Spurs is coming in because they are fighting for, you know, trying to get to a top four with Arsenal. Arsenal also play lead. So, you know, Spurs will love to have at least a point and dent our quad uh, goal. But hey, we, 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 we LFC, we, we, we accept the challenge. We like the challenge. And that's how we roll. We've been doing this all season. Knowing how the match is going to go. I'm going to see if, I'll talk about how the match is going. We know how Spurs are going to play. In terms of matchup, they might think this is the best opportunity for them because they're going to park the bus. I'm pretty sure he's going to go back five or should I say back three with, uh, with wing backs. And so it's going to be them being very pragmatic and trying to hit us on a counterattack. So knowing that Liverpool will have to make sure that their ball retention and the transition from position to position has to be perfect. The runs has to be perfect. The ball control has to be perfect because if we make a mistake, Kane and Song can really, really hurt us. And they got Klubeski uh, Klub, uh, that they just got from January. You know, the guy that some people were talking about is a better signing than Diaz. Uh, so they, they are coming up. You know, they, they have some confidence. They think they could hurt us because of how we play and the, how they play. They did the same thing to City. Uh, we saw what happened. You know, they said they hit them on counter-attack so many times and able to score three goals at the Etihad. So if Liverpool is not careful and Liverpool don't play well, we could also face that kind of situation. But knowing Liverpool and knowing what we do, we always have a tendency of playing bad one half and very good and the other half. And I'm hoping that this situation is how we play them on how we we played against Villarreal when they came to Anfield because that one we were from go we did not look back each half we were on point you know so we have to do our best not to give them too many chances we have to make sure that we neutralize uh Kane especially Kane from the midfield came from up top I'm not worried about that VVD Matip or Ibo will handle that it's when Kane drops deep and then he launches those balls over the defense that's when I'll be more concerned with because then Song has pace he could run you know he could make a run on that and Klubeski also could make a run on that yeah win backs could do the same thing so in terms of counter-attack yes they could hurt us but knowing Liverpool we go we our ball retention is good when it's good it doesn't matter how you sit back and I hope they sit back like how Villarreal did because that will allow us to be able to pin them back. The only mistake we can do is have our passes mess around like we did against Villarreal in the first. Uh, so in that, in looking at the dynamics of how the match is going to go, because everybody knows, we saw how they played us when we were at the, at the new quite hard lane. And all they did was trying to hit us on a counter attack. So this match for them, it looks like they're going to do the same thing, knowing Conte and his tactics. So I'm expecting us to have our same back five, you know, of course, Allison, Trent, Evo, because of the speed, VVD, and then uh, Robo. 
And as you can see, he even served Robo and brought in Simicast for about the last 15, 20 minutes. So I can see Robo start. I'm hearing some rumblings that there's a possibility he might try Gomez on the right side, but I think he'll probably do that when we play Aston Villa. He won't trend in this because we need those crosses. Because if they press us, we need that ball over the top. Midfield, I think midfield, he's going to go Keita, Fab, and Thiago. Reason is because they're going to sit back. And you need uh, two midfielders who could break their lines. One with the passes, one with, with the drive, you know. And I could see him playing Keita and Thiago. And he did sub Keita and Thiago early so that uh, Milner and Henderson could come in. And the possibility that Henderson could start. But in this match, I can see it's Fabino, Thiago, Keita. Up front is Diaz, Mane, and Salah. That's the front three right now, the main front three. And I could see uh, Jota making a play. I could see even Bobby might possibly make a play. And then um, in midfield, we know we always bring Milner in to shut things up or bring Henderson in to shut things up or bring more energy to the to midfield and possibly even Gomez might have something to say in there so this match itself I'm not worried too much because I know what Liverpool can do when Liverpool are on point there's no team that could stop us so all I need is for us to be able to play the way we play and stop the match well, I hope club don't make too many changes on this match because yes, he has been rotating a lot. And a lot of times when he rotates, he puts a lot, you know, he makes big rotations. It's not like two or three, he goes five, six, seven. So this match don't need that. Let them play. Same team that started uh, Villarreal. I think they should start with Bar, Diaz and um, Diaz for Jota. So that's what I'm expecting. I'm expecting us to win. Like I said, I'll never always give the score, but I know LFC is going to win this match and we keep the quad going. But besides that, there's also some other important matches that's going to be. There's a lot of great matches this weekend, actually. I think there's a double week for my fantasy fans out there. Uh, so we go with, you know, the beginning is Brentford and Southampton. Both teams, I think, are safe. So they could be exciting. It's an exciting match if you look at those two. Uh, Burnley and Aston Villa is going to be entertaining because Burnley is fighting for their life. And the new resurgence with the new coach is helping them a lot. So Aston Villa needs to watch out. Aston Villa may be safe, but if they lose this match, they could be sweating and looking over their shoulders quite a bit. Uh, Chelsea is playing Wolves. That's an entertaining match. Chelsea can't lose this because if they lose they're going to be dragged into the top four race. Wolves have not been defending well lately. They've been shipping a lot of goals. So I, I can see Chelsea winning this. I don't want to say it's comfortably, but I can see them winning. Crystal Palace and Watford, I think Crystal Palace winning this. You know, they're playing at the, at the Hurst Park. So they, 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 no, they're not losing this match. Watford at this, at this point, they're going down. Brighton and Manchester United at the... Well, American Express Stadium, I can see Brighton winning this match. That's what I'm going to say. I see Brighton winning this match. Of course, LFC versus Spurs at Anfield. Uh, Sunday, we got Arsenal versus Leeds. That's an important match. Leeds are playing better. We're hearing that Brentford might be back. You know, they lost. Uh, did they lose? Uh, one of their players got injured, is it? Oh, I forgot his name. Depending on what happened between Liverpool and Spurs, Arsenal will need to react. So they're going to be keeping their eyes closed. I'm sure Arsenal fans will be supporting uh, LFC on Saturday. Leicester City and Everton, that match is going to be crazy. Everton is fighting for dear life. I don't trust Leicester City, especially they just played Rome and they play in Rome, you know, Roma, and they didn't do too well. And they are very wishy washy. So I can see Everton getting something from this. Norwich and West Ham, Norwich might pull a fight, you know, just be professional. They're going down, they've been relegated. So West Ham they didn't do too well also in the Europa match. So I don't know. West Ham usually don't play well after Europa match. Man City versus Newcastle uh, at the Etihad. That is. LFC's young team, LFC new team called Newcastle LFC. Please do something. Do something. They are tired. Attack them. Attack them. Don't sit back. If you sit back, they're going to kill you. 
attack them because they're tired right now. Get at them. They are not feeling too well. All right. So those are the weekend. I know there's some, you know, LFC play on Tuesday also, uh, but we will get back to that on Sunday when we do the review. Um, guys, um, I'm going to make a quick uh, comment on these. I know everybody have had their say on what happened to Manchester City uh, over yesterday, you know. I, okay, so we know um, Pep have mismanaged or overthink or whatever the reason is ever since he left Barcelona and can't get back into the final or even win it when he's there. This match on Wednesday was not one of them. There's nothing he could have done. There's not anything that they could have done. They should have done it the week before. On was it Tuesday? Yeah, on Tuesday at the Etihad when they blew all these chances. I did put a post about the chance that uh, Maris had. Instead of, instead of passing it to Foden, he decided to shoot and hit the side net. And I posted on Twitter that if anything, if anything goes sideways, that remember that because if he does. Giving the ball to him, he could have scored. They squandered so many chances. That is where everything went wrong. And this, this series, I can't blame Pep. People are talking about, well, he's not taking KDB out. I'm sorry, KDB, there's nothing. KDB was, was dead. The guy could not run. His legs were dead. He, there's nothing he could have done. There's nothing he could have done. They were tired. City has a big squad to be able to handle uh, Madrid, regardless of the substitution that he makes. So I won't say anything that this is one of the situations where Pep messed it up. Usually, yes, because he's a repeat offender. So it makes this one look like he, he did it again. This one, I'm going to give him a pass. This one was just Madrid. And Madrid showed their true heritage. Yo, that word is real in the Champions League. Okay, sorry for City, but Liverpool plays Madrid in Paris on the 28th. So it's going to be crazy. This is two European superpowers. Yes, we know Madrid got 13, but we got six of them things. So we, we, this, is, this is not a small team that you're going to play. And we're not going to have them and under, under, uh, underestimate them like how PSG did. We coming after them. And Liverpool, you know, Salah already said he got scored or settled. But as Liverpool does, it's one game at a time. We're going to worry about Spurs. After Spurs, we got Aston Villa. After Aston Villa, I believe we got Southampton. And we keep going. And I think we got Chelsea in somewhere in between. So, guys, thank you so much. I appreciate you all. Enjoy your weekend. Please be safe. Uh, Sunday, we'll be back. And I hope the quad will still be on when I come back on Sunday. Hey, please share, subscribe, like. All right? Crazy Bold, Archie. Peace.